Charlie Quintel is here, ladies and gentlemen. Would you make him feel welcome to the Saturday Night Live with the Oldies family? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. Enough's enough. <laughs> Where's the pizza? Pizza? Well, pizza's a little bit later on. Yeah. I mean, I don't... No, I, I heard the show with the pizza incident. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Um, <laughs> anyway, changed, on with we the change, show. We change pizza companies. Yeah. Matter of fact, you know, I never go to the Big D anymore. I go to Express Pizza. Express. You ever go to Express Pizza? No, that's why I'm... Um, I'll be waiting. Though. Well, we'll have you try it tonight. So how you been, Charlie been Quintel? Good. You're I making mean, me a star, Joe. I get more... Mi Charlie... <laughs> You've always been a star in my book. You're number one. Where are you from originally? People, Fall, people Fall write to me. They say, ask Charlie some questions about his life. What's he all about? Fall River. How old are you? Um, I'll be 42 in September. you got brown eyes. Brown eyes and a brand new haircut. I know. You're almost like Danny Ainge. You won't believe the haircut that Charlie Quintel. What prompted you to, to get a buzz? <laughs> well, my son was getting a haircut today, David. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> so you decided so to get one. I'm going to get a nice summer look, you know. And you call that a nice it's, summer look? It's the shortest <laughs> it's been in 30 years. It looks good. It really does. <laughs> yeah. Whew. And if you believe that, I have a bridge over here called the, over the Mystic. I know. <laughs> no, it looks pretty good. It looks different. I had to wait out in security for a while later. <laughs> <laughs> you have a mustache. Yeah. Did you go to school in Fall River? Yep, Durfee High School. No kidding. Yeah, and I, uh, I, well, I left Durfee to go to work driving a delivery truck for my father. Yeah? So how did you get into music? Uh, 1959, when, when Buddy Holly and the Big Bopper and that accident happened, that kind of inspired me to... 1959? You yeah. were playing music in 1959? Yep. February 3rd. Yeah. I was in high school in 1959. Come on, Joe. <laughs> I was playing music in 1959 with my group, the Rhythm Rockers. Drummer. That's right. How could you tell? <laughs> Charlie, I get more mail on you. Now, I'm going to flatter you right off the bat. It says... Here's a note I just got. It's dated May 10th. It's from Danvers. It says, Dear Joe, thought you'd like to hear from a new listener. I've lived in the area since September, and I'm glad I've discovered your oldie show. So am I. Your program reminds me of the original Sunday Night Hall of Fame that I listened to years ago on what I think is a great radio station, WBT in Charlotte, North Carolina. It opened with those oldies but goodies and closed with your sign-off song which is Good Night, My Love. In between, they played the same great mix of vintage rock and roll and oldies that you feature. I've got a huge collection of music, but I never fail, Joe, to hear a great new oldie on your program. In fact, on last night's program, you played by request a wonderful ballad that I've never, ever heard before. I'd like to find a copy, but I didn't catch the name of the artist. I believe the title was Take Me As I Am. I'm not kidding you. I'm not, wow. Look at this, Charlie. It's right here. If you could just jot down the particulars and drop the postcard back in the mail, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for a great program. Sincerely, Rich Blanchard from Danvers, Mass. And I'm telling you. Well, thanks, Rich. Not every funny. week I get mail on this song. Charlie, this is a classic. We're going to play Charlie's song, Take Me As I Am. When did this first come out? Uh, Do you recall? I think the Dupree's recorded it in the early 1960s. And then I recorded it with the Spidells. We had a band called Spidells. That's right. That's right. And then I re-recorded it again. And this is the, the version that I did again. Well, you're going to hear Charlie's Take Me As I Am. Coming right up here at 98.5 WROR. 98.5 WROR. This is Saturday Night Live with the Oldies. It's kind of kind of crummy outside, but we're going we're gonna to make up for that inside tonight. Charlie Quintel is nice enough to come by our studios tonight. He's live. He's not Memorex. <laughs> He's not on the phone. He's live. This is a great song. This is one of my all-time favorites. Now, I heard you perform this song live last summer when you were on the bill with Jay Black. That's right. Down at the South Shore yeah. Music Circus. We're going to be with him again. When? At the What's Melody, the Melody Tent. I believe it's the July 20th. I, I don't have anything. Well, they should have you back there. Who else are you going to be backing up this summer? Can you tell us? Well, it was supposed to be with Billy Vera, but... Yeah? That kind of uh, stopped. Uh -huh. uh, the contracts didn't go through. Charlie, don't tell us who you're not going to be with. Tell us who you're going to be And then I with. heard this week we were going to be with Roy Orbison, but then I just heard yesterday that he has his own opening act. <laughs> Things aren't so going think, too well, are they? <laughs> I think we're going to open on a Joe and Andy show. <laughs> Here's my buddy Charlie Quintel on a song you love. W-R-O-R. Pretty 
Pretty, pretty. 98.5 WRR. Charlie, that is a great song. Thank you, Joe. Charlie Quintel, he's yeah. here live in our studio. That's his song, Take Me As I Am. I hope I can make it a hit for you all over again. Well, it's becoming a hit because of you. <laughs> well, you know what? That's great, though. I'm I not, love it. I'm not kidding you. Every week we get mail. Now, listen to this letter. Please, friends, I hope we're not boring you, but this is the truth. People love Charlie and Take Me As I Am. This says... My fiancé are getting married, and I are getting married on April 16th, 1988. Boy, they believe in planning ahead, don't we? <laughs> and we hired Charlie Quintel and Talk of the Town for our reception, and our wedding song is Take Me As I Am. You see, if you had not featured him and his band, they would never have crossed our mind. Neither would have his beautiful song. So I try to get you by phone with very little success. So I figured I'd type you a letter... Is it possible for you to play Take Me As I Am some Saturday night and dedicate it to my fiancé, Joey? This is Leah Prater from Winthrop. There you go, Leah. We've got more coming up here on Saturday Night Live of the Oldies Straight Ahead with your friend Joe Martell and our special guest, Charlie Quintel, all produced under the personal supervision and direction of the very lovely Linda Jean. Am I wound up or what? <laughs> You're at 98.5 WROR. Purchase of a pair of White and Bright's MVP and Reebok will make your outfit complete with a free matching beach coat bag at $20 value while supplies free matching beach bag at MVP Sports Stores in Woburn, Danvers, and Cambridge, where you get the most via sporting goods dollars. This program was recorded for playback in Reform School. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to ROR's Saturday Night Live at the Oldies, New England's number one all-request oldies show. <laughs> Point five W R O R. This is Saturday Night Live at the Old. It's Saturday night and I want to rock and roll. So I tune in to my favorite oldie show. Hey, W R O R is the place I go. What do you say we zip out to Milford? You up for that, Charlie? Want to go to Milford? Let's go to Milford. <laughs> Here we go. This looks like Jan. Hi, Jan. Hi, Joe. How are you? I'm better. You feeling better? Well, I was afraid if I didn't get better, you wouldn't be able to talk to me because you'd be afraid you'd catch it. No, Jan. No. 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 I would talk to you if you were deathly ill. What an awful thought. What, is what am I saying? <laughs> what am I saying? Say hi to my friend Charlie Quintel. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Jen. Beautiful song. Oh, thanks a lot. Oh, we love it. See, Thank everybody you. loves your song, Charlie. We really do. I That's really nice. appreciate your request and, and comments about it. Charlie, Thank just you. stand there and be quiet, okay? <laughs> Take the compliment. <laughs> what can I play for you tonight? Oh, would you send me the pillow that you dream on? I mean, would you play it? <laughs> I would, but it's a little ruffled and never mind. Sure I will. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jim. Okay, Joe. Take care. You too. Have a nice holiday weekend. You too. And I'm glad you're feeling better. Thank you. Send me oh, I can dream. From Tallahassee, Florida, Johnny Tillotson, a song that got as high as number 17 in September 1962. And send me the pillow that you dreamed on. It's so nice. Poor Joe, 98.5 WROR, going back to September 1963. The Safaris and Surfer Joe with Surfer Joe Martell. Is my buddy Charlie Quintel. Hey, that rhymes. Surf and Joe. Surf and Joe. Well, now, what do people request? Now, your band performs. How often during the week are you off with uh, Talk of the Town? At least four and five nights a week. Now, what is the biggest oldie that you guys get requested? Of course, in addition to it's, your song, Take Me As honestly, I Am. Honestly, it is Take Me As I Am. Is it really? It really is. And we do I'm that not surprised. at least twice a night. But they like uh, the Wanderer, Dion. Yeah. Uh, Pretty Woman, Roy Orbison. All those classics. Yeah. Uh, my mind is blank. Till then. My mind is blank every Saturday, Charlie. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. The Joker. Did you ever hear that Til song, then? The Joker? Yeah. Till oh, The Joker. Then. Yeah, that's a good song. The Joker song. is what they yeah. call me. If yeah. Linda's listening in the other room right now, in the other studio, she's going bananas because she likes that song, The Joker. Is what, that right? What's the other one? Till then? Till then. Till then. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. My darling, then. please wait for me. Till then. Listen to us. Do, let's, do, do. let's quickly go down to the Cape. This looks like 
My buddy Dennis. Dennis, you old son of a gun. I'm having fun tonight or what? I'm having a blast. Are you really? I am having a blast. My buddy Charlie Quintel's here. Say hi to Charlie. Hey, Charlie, how are you? Hi, Dennis. How you doing? Nice to talk to you. Thanks you like your song, Dennis? Tell me the truth. Yeah, uh, this song is terrific. No, no, his song. His song is terrific. <laughs> Take me as I am. What's Linda doing? Linda's busy working in the other room. She's running around this Oh, she's got Nikes on tonight. I'm telling you, she's flying. Are you guys having a good time? Actually, she doesn't have Nikes on. You know what she has on? She has P. F. Flyers on. Do you remember PF Flyers? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe, make sure you tell them we said hi. I sure will, Dennis. We're down the Cape tonight. What can I get on for you guys? Oh, we got our seventh anniversary this weekend. All right. Look at that. That's incredible. What would you guys like to hear? How's everything going? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Want to touch base and, and say hello. Well, would you like to hear a song? I don't know. What would you like to hear, Mary Lou? How's Mary Lou feeling? Mary Lou's feeling fine. She's sitting down eating pasta. And, oh, she's sitting. Wait a minute. She's pregnant. She's pregnant. I know. And she's eating she's pasta. She's only got two months to go. The baby's gonna come out. Second, I'm running in a road race tomorrow. The baby's gonna come out and he's gonna go volare. <laughs> yeah, Mary Lou is eating pasta. She is. <laughs> what do you want to hear, Mary Lou? Yeah, Mary Lou. How about hello, Mary Lou? Hello, Mary, Mary Lou. Lou. Goodbye, Dennis. Mary Lou. Sweet Mary Lou, I'm so in love with you. <laughs> we'll do it. Hello, Mary Lou. Goodbye. Point five W R O R and Joe Martell's Saturday Night Live at the Oldies with the songs that you grew up with. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ninety-eight point five W R O R. This is Saturday Night Live at the Oldies. That song got as high as number four back in April of nineteen fifty-eight. Rick Nelson and Believe What You Say. That's probably one of my favorite That's a Rick great Nelson song. songs. <laughs> now you worked with him, yeah, just before he passed That's on. That's right. Yeah, the same year. Tell oh. us a little bit. What was a real Rick Nelson like? great guy and i'm not saying it because you yeah. know he was just a very humble guy and he'd do anything for you you know i mean ask him event you know autographs or anything i i could see it with the people that was kind of shy though wasn't he kind of withdrawn a little uh, bit no he was just kind of a quiet guy you know he was yeah. just uh, i get the goosebumps so i look at these pictures that people have taken you know and mm -hmm. and uh this was at the warwick music theater and he used all our instruments and stuff and I, I see my drum kit and stuff there, and with him standing there, you know, to think they're all gone, his whole know, band, you the know. The whole band. I can't that, believe it. In that know? tragic plane crash, what, about yeah. a year and a half ago. Yeah. Rick Nelson. Charlie Quintel is with us tonight for a little bit. Make him feel warm and welcome, because I can tease him, because he's my pal. You don't mind if I tease you a little bit? Oh, not at all. As long as I keep playing that song, this right? This is fun. No, <laughs> Joe, I'll tell you, if it stopped today, I know I would be done. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not true, and you know it. You're going to be over in Somerville a little bit later that's right, on tonight at Corey's on Broadway. Uh, it's, a, it's a, just a fun place, you know. You've got to come over there sometime, Joe. Are you there every Saturday night? Oh no, once in a while uh, we, we'll play there, like maybe a weekend every six weeks or so. Okay. You know. Well, the next time I'm off the oldie show, I'll commit. If you let me sit in with you guys, oh, sure. Your drummer won't. Did you know off. Joe Martel's a drummer? <laughs> a 37-year-old drummer? Not a very, very good drummer, but I. Hey, I have a good time. We'll continue with more of your calls and requests at nine three one one five seven zero. Coming right up here on Saturday Night Live at the Oldies with your friend Joe. At WROR. Ron? Hello, Joe. How are you doing tonight? Wonderful. And yourself? Thank you. I'm doing great. Say hi to my friend Charlie Quintel. Hello, Charlie. Hi. How you doing? Not bad. When are you going to get up on the North Shore? Yeah. How about that? When up are you going to perform up on the North Shore? Well, I've been trying to get into the Hampton Beach Casino, but we don't have the proper connections. <laughs> hey, if you're listening up in, at the Club Casino, hire my pal Charlie. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Ron, what can we play for you tonight? Oh, Jack Scott. Jack Scott? Yeah, how about what in the world? What in the world's come over you? Wow, wow, what in the world's come over you? He actually, that's Jack Scott at 98.5 WROR. He kind do you remember the song yep. he had, The Way I Walk is Just The Way we I Walk? Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> and Burning Bridges. Well, what in the world's come over you for our friend out in Lynn, Ron, got as high as number five back in March of 1960. Saturday night live at the Oldies with Joe Martell and Charlie Quintel here tonight. I know the guy that sings that pretty song, Take Me As I Am. 
you're sitting out there scratching your head, and I don't remember that song, Joe, because a lot of us don't remember song titles. Well, let me give you a little bit more of Charlie's great-sounding song. Yes, it's you. back, you're going, yeah, yeah. Let's take a call here at WROR. Who's this, please? Dusty. Dusty, how old are you? Ten. Ten? Do you listen every week to Saturday Night Live at the Oldies? Yeah, with my, with my father and stepmother. No kidding. What are their names? Judy and Bruce. Jeannie and who? Judy and Bruce. Judy and Bruce. And your name is Dusty. Mm-hmm. Why do they call you Dusty? Nickname. Oh, okay. Makes sense. <laughs> I'm a doofus. Hey, Dusty, what would you like to hear? My parents would like to hear My Girl by The Temptations. Well, you're a nice kid for calling for them, okay? All right. And what station are you listening to, Dusty? W-R-R. All right. Hey. Thanks, pal. WROR, a song that got as high as number 17 back in October 1957, Joe Bennett and the Sparkle Tones and Black Slacks. Was that a one-hit wonder? I th- yeah, it was. Well, One-shot I, wonder. You and well, I were one, just one, talking one, about how <laughs> primitive the sound was then, but boy, it yeah. sounded good, didn't yeah. it? Uh, th- there were hit records, you know. <laughs> the, even then, you know, like know. you hear that today, I love those songs. So you know? basic, though, you know, yeah. like the bass, the Fender guitar. That's right. The guy playing bass and uh, then the drums up boom, and boom, back. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Quintel is with us tonight with your friend Joe Martel, 931-1570. Saturday night live with the oldies trying to cheer up a very dreary Saturday night and into your Memorial Day weekend. Hello, you're next to WROR. Hi. How are you? Oh, my God, I can't believe this. <laughs> I'm right here, Beth, live on your radio. <laughs> this is my first one ever. This is the first time you've ever gotten through to Saturday night live with the oldies? my first time I ever tried to get it. Well, I'm glad you got through. Where are you calling from? Worcester. How, who would you like to say uh, hi to on the radio? Um, it's for my boyfriend. We're calling for his brother. It's yeah. his birthday. Are you a little nervous? Um, yes. Your voice is sh- 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 shaking. <laughs> Relax. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Feel a little bit better now? Yeah. Okay, now what can I play for you? Well, the song he wanted you didn't have, so... She said to play Happy Birthday, Baby. Would you like it's, that? Would you like that song? Sure. Okay. And it's his, it's his birthday, I assume. Yeah. Okay, how old is he? He's 25. Oh, he's too old for you, Beth. Dump him. <laughs> <laughs> You're the Tune Weavers at WROR. Happy, happy birthday, baby. WROR from Brookline's Coolidge Corner to Inman Square in Cambridge. We've got your request from the 50s, 60s, and early 70s on Saturday night live at the oldies at 98.5 WROR. Charlie, Charlie, enough, enough is enough with the song, Charlie. It's a great song, and I'll, I'll play it as often as I can, but three times in, in less than two hours, Charlie, enough's enough. Let's take a call. Gene, hi, Gene. Hi, Joe, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Pretty good, thanks. Are you enjoying the show tonight? Of course. Gene. Every day and every night. Gene, let me ask, thank you, hon. Let me ask you a question. What? Do you like that song? Don't just say you do by my pal Charlie Quintel if you don't like it. I mean, just because he's standing right here. No, it's a nice song. Isn't that a good song?
good song? Yeah. Thank you, Gene. Anything you want to ask Charlie? No, just say hi to him. Well, he's standing right here. You can say hi. I can hear you. Hi, Charlie. How you doing? Pretty good, thank you. Where are you from? Blackstone. Blackstone, Mass? You play Blackstone? Uh, where is it? <laughs> I guess he's never played it. No. no. Actually, what they do is they just put Charlie in the back of the van, I, I and remember. they take him to wherever they're going to play, and they wake him up. That's it. Charlie, wake up. <laughs> Friday night, it was so hot and muggy, I was complaining. I said, I can't sleep in this weather. I had all the windows open. It was hot. Tonight, you need a fur coat. Joe, it's freezing in here. Well, I know. I mean, it's real cold in the studio, isn't it? Yeah. Charlie Quintel, you are a good guy. I Thanks really appreciate you stopping by. I know you're going to leave because... You're going to be on in a few minutes out in Silverville. What's the name of that club? Uh, Corey's. Corey's. Joe, I'd like to mention just one thing that's really...